for the next three images we are going to do a quick set of poses on the floor so i'm asking her to sit on her knees and i'm placing her right in between the big window you see there i actually close the blinds on the sides because i want the portion the middle portion of the window to be the main light source for this image so the first thing i ask her is to bring the arm that is closer to me uh, behind because i want that arm to be supporting her upper body and, and then they arch back the head tilted to the left and the right hand is going to come up and her fingers are gonna be touching her lips very gently and then i'm gonna come around uh, to the front and take the shot from there i'm standing nine feet away at eye level and uh, this is the final image. And one thing I forgot to mention is that you have to make sure both eyes are visible in the in your image. That's going to make your photos better and your, pro your client probably gonna like them better too. For the next pose, we are going to change the arm placement. She's gonna, I'm asking her to bring her arms in between her legs. And then the head has to be turned toward the camera and also the shoulder should be a little forward. I'm moving a little behind her, uh, nine feet away and at eye level and this is the final image. A lot of times what I do is I ask my clients to kind of look at her shoulder, okay, so that will make the pose work. And also uh, we can see her hair is on her back, but I also want to show you how does this change when you have the hair on the front, okay, which is also really cool. Okay, so I'm asking her now to move her hair to the front, okay? And um, I'm also moving a little more to the side, okay? So I just moved a little, but you don't have to. You can still take the photo from the same place. It's just a quick, small change. And this is the final image. And it looks amazing too. Uh, you can see this nice highlight on her back. And so you can do both or one or the other. Either way, you're gonna get a fantastic image. Okay, so this is the last pose of this set and we are going to still keep the same position we had initially, guys. So uh, kneeling on the floor, arch back, we are just going to change a couple of things. Uh, the first one is that I want her arms up and be, uh, the hands behind her head and then her head and torso should be tilted to the left, slightly to the left. Okay, I'm moving uh, to the front again, uh, nine feet away from her and at eye level. And this is the final image. And one thing that is important uh, for this specific image is that I want her face lifted. So I uh, ask her to chin up and that's going to create this beautiful highlights on her face. Hey, if you would like to learn more, I have actually created a posing course with 100 different poses I use with my clients that include not only the poses, but also we talk about the shooting space, all the equipment you need to recreate these poses, uh, how to make people feel comfortable and a lot more information. You will see me uh, performing a whole boudoir session with precise instructions, but you also will get a posing guide uh, in a PDF format, but also a digital format you can install on your phone. This will have all the camera settings and all the information you need to recreate each one of these hundred poses and uh, you can follow along while you are shooting and never miss a pose. A lot of photographers are already taking advantage of this course with great results and fantastic feedback whether you are a beginner or a seasoned photographer i'm sure you will find a lot of value in this course i'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can check it out whenever you have time so please go there uh, follow the link and uh, let me know what you think and if you have any comments please also let me know but uh, either way thank you so much for your support